I feel a lot of pride in the work that I'm doing, what it is going towards, you know, feeding the world. My ancestors first came down the Ohio River from Whitehall, New York. And actually there is a spot just a few miles north of us that is referred to as Richardson's Landing. My grandfather and great-grandfather's generation were the first ones that started doing any kind of cropping. And then my dad really started to grow the row crop side of the operation and I've increased the cattle herd. My family has a hardware store. It started as a coal service in 1942 by my great-grandfather. Um, my grandfather was in the ag community for a long time. He was a dairy farmer, so I'm fourth generation. I'm in awe of how agriculture's changed since my granddad's time and his dad's time and how we have advanced so much. I think for Alex, what helped him was he worked at a bank. You have to know how to do financing and Alex is really strong in that. There's no other job out there that I can think of where you're kind of in control of yourself and what direction you're gonna go. I like that autonomy, being able to kind of pick my own direction. We have a daughter, Rhett, and she's four. And Bickett um, is nine months old, almost 10 months old. Bickett's been a, a blessing. He's been a true joy. And Rhett and Bickett just have this great relationship. I mean, Bickett's face will light up when Rhett comes in and she really loves to help. This morning, I had out two fall dresses. And I said, well, what do you want to wear? And she goes, mommy, I want that white dress. And I'm like, Rhett, that's a little much for today. And she goes, I want to be a movie star. So I was like, okay, that's fine. And Bickett's just she along for the ride. Yeah. My dad was really good at setting the farm up for the future. Thankfully, he was always kind of looking towards the future and he wanted the legacy to continue. I want Bickett and Rhett to have the opportunity if they want to be a part of the operation that it will be there and be ready for them. Farm Bureau, it's more networking. You're meeting other young farmers from other parts of the state, just making these connections that we're gonna use throughout our career. You're all in the same boat and you, it's not just you basically, like everybody is either having a hard time or having a great time and you, and you know how to, how, how you relate to each other and get through it together. It's definitely a big honor to be a finalist for Young Farm Family again. There are a lot of great agriculture families in Kentucky and to be a part of this contest and highlighting the younger generation coming on in agriculture, I think it's a big honor.